the X-ray beam coming from an X-ray tube. X-ray beam coming from an X-ray tube is monochromatic. Is it possible? No, it is not possible. Because we know that there is two kinds of X-rays. There are two kinds of X-rays. One is the continuous X-ray and the other one is the characteristic X-ray. In case of continuous X-ray, there is a minimum wavelength which is the cutoff value and up to a minimum maximum up to infinity. Okay, so in case of continuous X-rays, the wavelength may lie anywhere between a certain minimum value up to a infinite, up to infinite, any value because the maximum there is no limitation because energy zero up to EV, this range of energy is being used to create the continuous X-ray photon because zero energy will correspond to, to, will correspond to the maximum wavelength which is the infinite. So, there is a cutoff wavelength. That means the X-ray beam coming from an X-ray tube is monochromatic? No. Has all wavelengths is smaller than a certain wavelength? No. It is not the case. Has all wavelengths greater than a certain minimum wavelength? Yes. Because this is the concept of cutoff wavelength. Okay. Cutoff wavelength. And this is the concept related to the continuous X-ray because in case of continuous X-ray, energy of the photon may lie anywhere between zero up to the energy of the striking electron which is given by the charge of the electron multiplied with the potential difference with which it is being accelerated to produce the X-ray. So, there is a minimum, a particular value of the wavelength and below which the wavelength is not possible. So, it is the cutoff wavelength.